Now let us see how can we remove all the unit productions. So here we want to remove the unit productions. The unit productions. So what are the unit productions? If for example we have productions like this A can derive B, B can derive C, C can derive D, D can derive E, E can derive F, F can derive G, G can derive H, H can derive I, I can drive J and J can drive small a. Right. Now all these productions, all these productions including this one, these productions are not doing anything. They are just doing something like this. If uh, uh, you go to a government office and he says, uh, you, for example, if you go to a uh, any any random government office they only giving they are only giving reference to some other person they are not doing any work so you'll say these are useless right so in the same way these people if a is a person b is a person c is a person d is a person if all these are representing a person then they are not doing anything they are just giving reference to someone else but only one person who is doing the job is j drives a so this is the only person who is doing the job right so here in this case when i'm saying removal of unit productions unit productions are the productions which are actually not doing any work they are just giving reference to someone else and they are not doing any important task right so we want to remove such kind of productions because these are useless and they are unnecessarily making our grammar complicated so we want to remove them right so the first production is uh, first grammar is s derives a a slash b b derives a slash b b a derives a slash bc slash b so what are the unit productions in this case uh, what are the unit productions s derives single b this is a unit production what are the unit production s derives single b is a unit production here in this case b derives single a is a unit production and here in this case a derives single b is a unit production so these are the unit productions because they are not doing anything they are just referring to someone else so our aim is to remove such productions and still after removing these productions the grammar the meaning of the grammar should not change the meaning of the grammar should not change at all so obviously if you are going to remove these productions you have to identify that if you remove this production what are the things you will not be able to generate after that what are the things or what are the symbols or what are the strings which you will not be able to generate after removing these productions for example here we have s derives b so if you remove s derives b then with b you will be able to generate bb and you will be able to generate a so let us do one thing let us identify what are the things which you will not be able to generate if you are going to remove this production if you are going to remove this production then what are the things which you will miss uh, that which you will not be able to generate so we know that s derives b and b derives bb so we you will not be able to generate bb secondly you know that s derives b b drives a b drives a and from a you will not be able to generate small a or bc right so you will not be able to generate small a and bc so if you remove this production then you will not be able to generate bb you will not be able to generate small a and you will not be able to generate bc so hence removal of this production you should add these productions so the first production should be s derives a a if you removed b so you will be missing b b and you will be missing a and you will be missing b c now the next production is b drives b drives a if you remove this production then what are the things you will not be able to generate if you know that b drives a then from this a you can generate a or bc or b itself which is not of any use so you will be able to generate a and bc so you will not be able to generate a and bc right bc where c is a terminal again in this production a drives a it is not a unit production because it is generating it is useful right because it is actually generating uh, a terminal so if a production is generating a terminal or any string uh, that is only made up of terminal then that production is useful so this production is actually useful right it is not a unit production next a drive bc it is not a unit production next a drives b so if you remove a drives b then what are the things you will not be able to generate then a drives b 
and B can generate BB. B can generate BB. Therefore, if you remove this production, then you will not be able to generate BB. So you have to write BB. Now this is the grammar where you don't have any unit production. Where you do not have any unit production. Now from this grammar, remove all the symbols or you remove all the variables which are unreachable from the start state. For, for example, from the start state S, you will be able to reach A. You will be because of this you will be able to reach A, but you will not be able to reach B. And from A you will not be able to reach B. Therefore, B is an unreachable state. B is an unreachable uh, variable. Hence, you can replace, remove B at all completely. So, if you remove B, so it will be S can derive A A slash B B slash A slash B C, and A can generate A slash B C slash B B. Now this is the grammar which you will get after removal of unit productions. After removal of unit productions. Okay, got it. Now let us take the next example.